Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Jiwoo. I'm Miguel. I'm Jaime. Um, and we're Team Biffle. Buy for less, sell for more. So, um, an interesting new paradigm is popping up in certain pockets of the online community of the secondhand marketplace. Traditionally, a seller will post an item for a certain price, find a buyer, and make the transaction. But now there's this idea of this informal raffle, where instead sellers will, set, will sell a certain number of slots for a certain price each, and buyers will, instead of buying the item, buy a certain number of slots. And essentially what happens is once all the slots are bought up, the seller will, using a random number generator, pick a certain slot that's the winner, and that the owner of that slot will get the item. And so it benefits the seller because oftentimes the number of slots times the price per slot exceeds the market value of the item, and buyers have a chance to buy an item for you know, a fraction of the market price. Currently, most of this is um, happening on a Facebook group, um, but there's, the methods are very primitive. Sellers will often, um, to you know, provide transparency of the random number generation, they'll Facebook live stream themselves going on random.org and generating a number. Um, also, the methods of payments like Venmo are usually unreliable and rife with scams. Um, and because everything is done on Facebook posts where things can get deleted and updated, um, all the records are mutable. And this group that I'm a part of is controlled by a small number of mods who have basically have the power to um, invalidate a raffle or restart a raffle. And so there's a lot of there's a lack of transparency in this space. So so the solution we built. Um, so why why did we use um, Ethereum? Uh, for, first of all, um, for the items that are on auction, uh, there's like an immutable. Like everyone knows the state of those items. Um, and I think the biggest uh, value add of, of putting on the, in a smart contract is that the algorithm we choose for who wins the raffle is provably fair. You can, you can see it. We use the same algorithm that CryptoKitties uses, which is like uh, blocks in the future. And we use that block number to determine our randomness. So, um, and lastly, um, the user logs in with their uh, public key. So um, we don't have to bother with PayPal or Venmo. We do all the transferring via the contract. And now we just have a quick demo here on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so the block times are a lot quicker. Uh, so you'll see everything happen. <laughs> Our dApp Biffle runs exclusively on Ethereum. So if you're not logged into an Ethereum wallet like MetaMask, you won't be able to use any of our functionality. Once you log in though, you'll be able to see the storefront and everything else that comes with Biffle. As a seller, there are many things that you can do to sell your item for more. So in the Create Biffle tab, um, you can sell your item like this Palace hoodie that I have, and you can upload your image. We save the image in IPFS and store the hash on the blockchain. And then we can set a whole number of variables, like the slot price, which is the, the amount that someone will have to pay to buy a slot in our Biffle. We can choose a number of slots that we have for our item, and then our bounty, which in a nutshell is an incentive for people to actually initiate the random draw. Calls to the contract generally take a while to finish, maybe 15 to 30 seconds, but once it's done, then we can look at our profile, which has all of the biffles that we're involved with. So here we can see that the palace hoodie that I just created is here, and I have all the information as well. Participating is very easy on our side as well. So let's say I'm very interested in these red Octobers right here. Mm -hmm. I can see the slot price. It looks good to me. 100 way, it's pretty cheap. So what I can do is buy a slot. So I click on this button right here. Um, sends a call to the contract, takes a while, I have to approve on MetaMask, and then I just wait. And now it's done. Since there was only one slot, now it's time for the random draw of this Biffle. A key element of this random drawing is the block number. We need to maintain some distance between the block number when the Biffle became full and the current block number. And that is so that bad actors don't get to manipulate the blocks in advance and tamper with the results of our Biffle. If we were to deploy Biffle fully, we would probably wait around 10 blocks because that's around the average time that it takes for finality. Uh, but in this case, for the demo, we just have one block. 
So in this case, the condition was met, and we can send a call to the contract, and then we're just going to wait for a bit until we actually finish the random draw. So this is when the winner is going to be decided, and we'll know if we won the shoe or not. And we did. Um, pretty trivial in this case because there was only one slot. But now I can look at some of my past pitfalls uh, and look at the results. And now I have an immutable record of all the biffles that I've ever won. Thanks.